Filtering software can be very helpful. It can prevent mistakes, access to websites a person didn't expect, but it can also lead to a false sense of security. Let's say we look at filtering software as 80% effective, but there's 20% of the time that it's not effective. And even if you tell me you have the best filtering software, there are many workarounds. There are many ways around filtering software that children may know. So it cannot be relied on by itself. It may be a nice tool to use in the office or even at home, but not by itself. Monitoring software is a much better solution. It can be used in conjunction with filtering, but monitoring makes it so that no one's ever really alone with that computer. But remember that no technological solution is foolproof. You know, PC Magazine recently did a uh, roundup and found that none of the products are foolproof. And I can tell you that no product will be foolproof. Uh, there are just simply too many ways around it. But it is definitely a good idea to have something on your computer, even if it's just to prevent sort of like the casual transgression, the, you know, somebody, some kid thinks they have two minutes, let's see what they can get away with. Um, Kids aren't terribly bright sometimes about doing things that they know they'll be caught for doing anyway, but it's a good idea to prevent them from doing it the first time. So putting on filtering software isn't bad. It cannot be relied on. Uh, additionally, I do recommend monitoring. These products typically do a, a good job of keeping track of what the kids have done online. Blocking software can be used to prevent access to any Internet. For example, even if you think the Internet's not in the home, but you're concerned that maybe your child will use a wireless access point nearby. Or you have a young child and you'd like for him to not use the computer at all with internet access. Even if you need that computer to have internet access, blocking software can prevent specific people who use that computer from accessing the internet at all. Blocking monitoring and filtering programs often offer the feature to allow you to use blacklists or whitelists. Blacklists are lists of websites that you specifically exclude, and whitelists are lists of websites that you only include. For example, whitelists can be used to put down just a few websites that you feel may be appropriate or needed for a specific individual in the family. Blacklists can be used if you've identified a website that the filtering program didn't identify as being inappropriate. You can add that to the list of websites that you'd like the computer to block. There are client-based filters, and server-based filters. Client-based filters are software that runs on the computer itself and filters all access to the Internet. Server-based filters are where you're using an Internet provider who filters the content for you. Each one has an advantage and a disadvantage. The advantage of the client-based filtering programs is that if the computer is used using a different internet access than the one you normally use, like the neighbor's wireless network, it will still work. But if you're using the server-based filtering and you access the internet using a different provider, like the neighbor's wireless, it will not filter at all. So in that way, there's an advantage to the actual program that runs on the computer itself. The advantage of a server-based filtering program is that you can't turn it on and off because when you're accessing the internet through that provider, they are in control of all the content coming to your computer through that internet connection. And it cannot be disabled through any tricks or programming. Any program or technology that's used to help, that's cumbersome, will eventually be turned off. For example, a filtering program that is used that's too sensitive and blocks needed information will eventually be disabled at some point and then it won't provide any benefit at all. Filtering software can be used as an extra measure to prevent mistakes, but it can lead to a false sense of security if it's the only protection on the computer.